We all know the decision that LeBron James made in 2010, but Miami was not LeBron's only option. In fact, one of his options were playing with the Chicago Bulls and Derrick Rose. And this was before Derrick Rose got injured. He didn't even win the MVP yet. The next season coming up was actually his MVP season. And there was rumors that Dwayne Wade was going to team up with Derrick Rose on the Chicago Bulls and LeBron James. So today, you already know what we're doing. We're checking out the reality. What would have happened if Derrick Rose, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade teamed up in Chicago? I mean, first off, looking at this roster, 92 overall Derrick Rose, 95 overall. Overall, D Dwayne Wade, 98 overall LeBron James, and we got Carlos Boozer and Joakim Noah as our two other starters. And on the bench, we have a pretty good bench. Luol Dang, Kyle Culver, Ronnie Brewer, Todd Gibson, CJ Watson. If you guys don't remember the thing that happened with Draymond Green and CJ Watson and Conor McGregor, it was hilarious. That happened a while ago, though, so I don't know if you guys remember that. And then, you know, on the bench, guys, on the bench, the legend himself, Brian Scalabrini. Like, I think we got to give him some minutes just because, he, you know, he's a legend. You know, we'll take away some of Ronnie Brewer's minutes. Like, give him, give him, give him like five minutes a game. This is going to be interesting, though, to see how good this team is. I mean, I think this team would have been insane in real life. At least two championships like LeBron did in Miami. I think they could probably pull off the three-peat, even go four for four of the four years that they're going to be together. I mean, if they want to stay, we'll keep them together too longer. They don't have to just go four years like the Heat did. But yeah, the main goal really is to just try and break break the Miami Heat championship record that LeBron got with them. He got two and four seasons. And I think they're, I think that's going to be possible. I mean, looking back at it, honestly, LeBron and the Heat should have three-peated. That 2011 loss to the Mavericks, or was it 20, yeah, 2011, I'm pretty sure it was to the Mavericks. They should have won that series. They were up two to one and they lost three games in a row, I'm pretty sure. And that's a ring that LeBron probably wants back for his legacy. Because the main argument why people put Jordan over LeBron still is the six rings versus the four rings. And if LeBron would have got that fifth ring it wouldn't have been five at the time but he would have five now then he'd be just one off tying mike but now at his age with only four rings i don't think there's any way he ties mike especially after we're blowing leads to denver in the fourth quarter i don't know how that happened jamal murray just woke up in the final two possessions of the game the team's 45 and 5 right now though so they have a chance to break the nba record of all-time wins i mean it is 2011 right now so that record hasn't even been set yet of the 73 and 9 it's actually 72 and 10 but you know we're gonna go off real life too so so let's try and break the 73 and 9 record is looking pretty decent right now they're 53 and 5 in march 53 and 6 in march so about a month left of the season we can only lose three more games but we don't have that many games left heading into april they're 68 and 8 they cannot lose one more game if they want to tie it they can lose one more but they want oh man they lost the last week they lost the game to the Cavs, and now they tie the 73 and 9 instead of breaking it still an amazing season lebron walking away with the mvp 22 points per game seven boys boards and nine assists i mean that's a really good season considering all the stars he has around him so everyone's getting a touch like we didn't expect him to average 30 blake griffin winning rookie of the year chuck hayes six man dwight howard dpoy jordan farmer most improved player and tom thibodeau obviously winning the coach of the year after setting an nba record the bulls have a first round series against detroit honestly i'm saying his simulator round i don't think it's going to be too close i mean we just went 73 and nine we should not have a series with the eight seed be any anywhere near close we four to the boston celtics let's see how the team's doing it's a pretty good Celtics team. They just 4-2. Derrick Rose had 34-12 and 12 in the closeout game. LeBron had 25-7-13. And, and D-Wade with 23-10-5. So the big three is looking good. The closeout game against Detroit. D-Wade had 39-10-9. D-Rose with 35-5. and 5. LeBron with 14-9-14. The big three is putting up crazy numbers in the playoffs. And they could have an opportunity to face Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers in their first season. They lose the first game to the magic take the second game i don't really think this is going to be too tough of a series for him but we are down 3-1 and just as i was saying it might not be a tough series we're gonna have to hop in the sim cast already as the bulls are down 3-1 in the series it looks like they're gonna take this game and make it a 3-2 series because they're up like they've been up like 30 points the whole game they do 140 88 let's check the uh not play game let's check the box score the lakers are in the finals so kobe is in the finals so we could have a kobe versus this super team finals if they can make it d rose with 40 and 14 in game five D Way with 33. LeBron with a triple double, putting up 21, 14, and 13. Gotta try and come back from a 3 1 lead. Not looking great right now. Down in the third quarter, they do take the lead. Now they lose it again. Looks like this game's gonna come down to a close finish. Never mind. The Bulls are up 15 with 18 seconds left. Up 16. They win the game by 16 points, forcing a game seven. D Rose with 34 points and 12 assists. Dwayne Wade with 22, 7, and 10. And Bron with 22, 7, and 15. Has D Rose upped his overall? 
he's up to a 93 i think he started the season at a 92 so he's definitely playing up because this guy's dropping like 30 points per game in the playoffs and now we got a game seven with the orlando magic and the chicago bulls in chicago they should not lose this one looks like they aren't gonna they're up 13 with a minute left yeah they're advancing on to the final so they just came back from a 3-1 lead lebron with 29 the leading scorer in the closeout game for the bulls d rose with 19 d wade with 17 and now is kobe trying to bring down lebron can kobe stop lebron's legacy 2-0 chicago bulls 3-0 chicago bulls it looks like that's going to be it 3-1 can kobe bring them back they cannot the bulls win the nba finals lebron went in the finals mvp only averaging 16 points per game but he did average six poor uh six boards a game and eight assists a game let's see what d rose averaged for the finals he averaged 24 how did derrick rose not win the finals mvp he had one rebound a game less than lebron and like eight more points and the same amount of assists and they give it to lebron yeah 2k is glazing i'm not gonna lie wait i just refresh it it said lebron had 16 and then i picked lebron again and now he has 22 seven and a half and nine so i mean I, I don't know what's going on that's just 2k being 2k you guys know how trash this game is so we're in the off season we are not doing anything for the team over the off season like we aren't making their draft picks aren't signing any free agents over the off season derrick rose went up to a 96 overall dwayne wade's at a 93 so i think dwayne wade actually went down one or two looks like the rest of the team stayed the same i don't think anyone really left i don't know who they drafted i mean they went 73 and 9 so they probably didn't get a good draft pick d rose winning the mvp one year later than he did in real life 25.6 points per game six boards and 10 assists kyrie irving got drafted to the phoenix suns and he won rookie of the year almost putting up 20 points per game harden winning the six man josh smith winning the defensive player of the year i've never seen josh smith win a dpoi on one of these it's usually dwight howard and tim duncan in this era jeff teague winning the most improved player tom thibodeau winning coach of the year we did not break our own record of 73 and 9 we went 71 and 11 still a pretty good record though this is the all nba first team the bulls have two members on it the mvp derrick rose and then lebron james lebron put up 21.7 points per game seven boards and 8.9 assists Dwayne wade did not make the all nba second team did he make the all nba third he did not make an all nba team so a down season for Dwayne wade but he did make the all nba first defensive team along with lebron james uh the derrick derrick rose averaged like 1.6 steals on the season so i feel like he should have made at least one of the all nba defensive teams but he does not the bulls got the charlotte hornets in the first round once the, or not the charlotte hornets the charlotte bobcats i feel like they should get by them pretty easily it's the 3-1 series yeah they 4-1 them let's see what they did in the elimination game d rose with 34 d rose seems like he's scoring like 30 plus a game in every playoff game the thunder just got beat with kevin Durant, russell westbrook james harden they just got beat by the portland trailblazers in the first round dj augustine just gave him 35 to close them out mike conley with 28 and 11 the aldridge with 40 14 and 10 don't get me wrong good trailblazers team i just did not expect kd to lose to them the bulls are up 2-1 on the celtics 3-1 on the celtics should just get by them yep and now we got the orlando magic who we were down three to one last year and came back so you know the magic want to win this series and whoever we face in the western conference is not who we expected i was either thinking maybe the lakers the mavs spurs or the thunder and we we're either gonna play the timberwolves or the portland trailblazers bulls not playing around with the magic this time up 3-0 they 4-0 sweep the magic derrick rose with 36 in the closeout let's see who we're gonna be playing in the western Co or the finals it is going to be the minnesota timberwolves they take game one who the timberwolves have they have kevin love who just put up 26 and 17 on us they have pekovic i mean not like they should yeah this bulls team should win i mean our roster compared to their roster is just so much better they probably shouldn't win another game all series i was gonna say as they take game three and the bulls are up three two they're trying to close it out right here trying to avoid a game seven closing it out on the timberwolves home court they're up 10 with three minutes up 16 with 50 seconds the bulls are gonna go for the two p and four to the uh minnesota timberwolves lebron winning the finals mvp 21.7 points per game seven boards eight assists derrick rose let's see how much points he averaged he averaged 26.3 points per game and 11 assists again derrick rose kind of snubbed at the finals mvp derrick rose two pitting as mvp as the bulls go in and try and do something that the heat were not able to do derrick rose is up to a 99 overall now braun made the all nba first team dwayne wade made the all nba second team but like i was saying 
the Bulls are going to be going into the playoffs and trying to do something now that the Heat were not able to do with LeBron and D-Way, and that's 3 P. They got the Bucks in the first round. Should be an easy series. Yep, 4-0. They got the Celtics in the second round. Now, the Celtics team's not bad at all, and we are down 2-0 to them. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 two two series. Can we close it out? This game is going to be in Boston, so we're going to be trying to avoid a game seven once again by trying to win on the other team's home court. Bulls are only up three with a minute and 14 left. They're up five up seven up five up seven like i want to hop in and watch these games but like there just haven't been really too many close scenarios as the bulls close out the series lebron put up 33 9 and 7 d rose with 24 7 and 7 and d wade with 16 5 and 9 so this bulls team just seeming unstoppable right now the magic has been the team that has took them the furthest so far but they're gonna sweep them again it looks like they do sweep them again and it looks like hopefully we're gonna get an okc versus bulls matchup no disrespect to the trailblazers but nobody's trying to see them play uh derrick rose lebron and d-wade we want to see kd versus them maybe we don't though because a 2-0 series two to one the thunder do win a game three one and i'm guessing it's just gonna be a four yeah four one gentlemen sweep lebron winning the finals mvp once again so that's three finals mvps for lebron this video and a regular season mvp form and then two mvps for derrick rose so the Bulls the past three seasons has had the MVP every time and won the championship every single time. D Rose with another MVP. The Bulls did kind of slow down a little bit this year. I don't even know if they won coach of the year. They did not. The Thunder had a 71 and 11 record. I think the Bulls had like almost 20 losses, if not 20 losses. D Wade and Derrick Rose on the All NBA first team. Braun on the All NBA second team. The Bulls are still the one seed in the East, but if we do look at their record, I mean 65 and 17. That's still a really good season. Don't get me wrong but maybe slowing down a little bit maybe we'll have some close playoff series i don't know not looking good for the first one they 4-1 the washington wizards i mean i just want to get in the game and watch like a close game seven or something the magic are up 2-0 maybe they can give us that 3-0 the bulls facing elimination losing three games in a row to the magic to avoid elimination it looks like the bulls are going to yeah they win by 20 something points the thunder are down 3-0 over there as well against the portland trailblazers the trailblazers have been like a sneaky team this sim they've been in the western conference finals and the finals like almost every year it seems like as it looks like the bulls are gonna blow out the magic again if the magic blow a 3-0 lead after i think it was two years ago they just blew a 3-1 lead to the chicago bulls that's gonna be an awful look for the magic game six the magic definitely don't want to go back to chicago after being up 3-0 they want to close it out on the home floor they're up six with two minutes left i guess this is a good point to hop in and watch so we finally get to hop in and watch a close game barbosa with the ball down to dwight howard getting guarded by boozer howard with the hook he's going to miss bulls are down six points their season is gonna end if they lose this game d-way with the pull up and he's gonna hit it but like i said their season will end if they lose this game down four points with a minute and 50 left so they need some stops barbosa off the pick and roll pulling up he is going to miss bulls got the stop they needed ball to d-rose d-rose with a step back he's going to miss but luol dang with the put back dunk i didn't even know luol dang could get up like that making it a, only a two-point game throwing to dwight howard down low dwight howard's gonna finish four points game once again a minute 20 left Derrick Rose with the ball off the inbound out of all teams will the magic be the one to end the Bulls dominant run Derrick Rose getting clamped by Nelson down low Derrick Rose going up he misses and Jameer just shoved Rose off him for the board JJ Redick to the whole scoop layup he misses Paul Millsap just came and trying to get a could put back dunk but he's going to miss LeBron with the ball to D-Wade D-Wade gets swatted by Dwight Howard I don't even know who just blocked him but Jameer Nelson down to Dwight Howard for the dunk and that might be the dad right there that might be it down six with 40 seconds left need a very quick basket d rose on jameer nelson jameer nelson just baby d rose last time d rose with the hook and he misses the bulls dominant run is over did not expect them to win it every single season but i did not expect them to go down to the magic to be honest with you as the trailblazers are gonna win an nba championship lamarcus aldridge winning the finals mvp and we're gonna try and go one more season and see if the bulls can get the redemption because i think lebron LeBron and D-Wade's contract are up after this year and they're not gonna be able to re-sign both of them so the team is going to end anyway so we're gonna try and run it back one more season all right Derrick Rose winning the MVP once again this has been his award for the first or the past 
five seasons no four seasons and lebron won it the fifth season so the bulls have had the mvp on their team the past five seasons Jokic won in the mv or the rookie of the year drafted to the cleveland cavaliers he looks weird in a Cavs uniform james harden has stayed with the thunder this whole time winning the sixth man of the year almost every year dwight howard with another defensive player of the year award cody zeller winning the most improved player scott brooks winning the coach of the year so the bulls did not have the best record once again so maybe the bulls are starting to fall off i don't know let's see what the uh record was 60 and 22 they actually tied the thunder i'm pretty sure didn't the thunder go 60 and 22 yeah the thunder did go 60 and 22 so maybe the bulls aren't falling off as much i mean they're not putting up like those 73 and 9 seasons like they were at the start but they are still putting up really good seasons they got the magic they can they get the revenge from last year the magic knocking them out ending their dominant run three two will the magic force in game seven they do not and now they got the okc thunder and the sacramento kings in the west finals and the bulls versus the washington wizards in the east finals as the bulls lose game one seems like the bulls all or not always but lose game one a lot and then just win four in a row they do it again winning four in a row d wade with 32 7 and 9 d rose with 26 3 and 9 braun with 15 14 and 13 and now we got the thunder versus the kings can the thunder close it out they are going to game seven was gonna hop in and watch game seven but every time we go into simcast it just seems like the game's an absolute blowout westbrook with 21 6 and 11 to close it out for the thunder as this king's team falls short pretty good king's team deandre jordan demarcus cousins kemba walker tyreek evans that's a really good king's team and the thunder just beat them in seven games the thunder are up 2-0 on the chicago bulls up 3-0 are the bulls gonna go out once again 4-0. Bulls lose two years in a row. It seems like their run might be over. No one on the Bulls was able to even score 20 points in the final game. I mean, they put up 88 points only. They shot 36 for 80 from the floor. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.